Miss Pink. Girl. Miss Pink. Okay, so this is Pink Girl uh, from Beatrice and Leopold's F1 Standard for New Doodle Litter. She's seven weeks old and she weighed seven pounds today. She is the smallest in the litter. She has been that way since the beginning and stayed that way. I expect her to be around 65 pounds as an adult. And she is your traditional tricolor. She has your typical Bernese Mountain Dog tan points on the front of on the front of the front of her legs, in front of the back of her legs, and then um, also on her cheeks and up under her ears. And she's got a little bit of eyebrows as well. And then she's got a white muzzle and a blaze, and then the white on her chest and the tips of her paws and the tip of her tail as well. She's got um, a little bit more of a wave to her coat and so I expect her to have um, maybe possibly some um, big loose curls but mostly waves to her coat once she matures and gets her adult coat in which will need to be groomed at least two times per year and her energy level is medium. As you can see right now because of the way I'm holding her this isn't something we practice all the time so she is being worried about that. She um, definitely is a little bit more sensitive than some of her litter mates to something that's new and different, which is actually kind of nice because she doesn't just rush on into things. She likes to sit back and check it out first and make sure. But once she gets comfortable with something, then she gets super excited. So I'm actually gonna move back so that she can just be down in my lap. So we can see a little bit more of how she is just naturally. Uh, she is content to just be on her own sometimes. Here, can I put you down there? Will that be better? Let's see. Yeah, now the tail's wagging. <laughs> but we can't see it in the camera. Yeah, we can't tell. So she's basically just one of those that she just needs a little bit of time to warm up to new things. She doesn't run away scared from them. She has a tendency to just sit and be still. I'm like, I'm not too sure about this. Um, so like I said, she does, she's okay to be um, on her own. She doesn't feel like she has to get into the mix of everything like some of her siblings do. And she absolutely, absolutely adores all of our other dogs. And in fact, sometimes when we're working with her and playing, she loves to go and run back over to um, see all of them. She's also happy to be with people, um, but like I said, she doesn't just rush into things. So when she's meeting new people or a new situation, she is going to be a little bit more reserved in the beginning. And then um, once she warms up to it, then she is the most playful little girl. And she's so much fun to um, be able to work with. I definitely would like her to be in a home if there are children that they are 10 or over just because of her sensitivity just some of the things that children would do just being normal kids and having you know an excited happy life like you know making loud noises that might be something that if it's happening too often could actually be a complication for her she'd be really great um, in a home that just is happy to be hanging out or likes to go and be active and doing things here and there. She's just pretty much going to be happy to be able to be with her people, whatever it is that they're doing. Thank you. You are so sweet. Yes, you are. All right. Should we go do a close up again, real quick? Yeah. So everybody can see you. There we go. And there's our little Miss Pink girl. <laughs>